listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries. As we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports... Even poking fun at the rest of the media, this is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Before we get into our intriguing content today, please join me in welcoming our featured guest and repeat offender. Todd Halterman's in the house. Welcome. Good morning, America. Glad to have you with us. And let me remind you, if you ever have any home or finance related questions, I am the consumer advocate looking out for you. And you can reach out to me directly at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me. First, there are no operators standing by. I am it. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. While I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you. Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference. 800-306-1990. Looking at the, the calendar today and... Holy cow, I see some some items on today's celebration list that can be very, very interesting, especially for somebody like me. It is National West Virginia Day. Yeah, not a whole lot of excitement there. But, Todd, this one's for you. What's up? National Goof Off Day. Hey! I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this also. And for those of us that have beaten anorexia... It is National Bavarian Crepes Day. I'll, I'll go with that one. I, I like that idea. It's <laughs> nice and early in the morning. A little bit of crepes going on there. Let's check out what the markets are doing for you this morning. Or maybe what I should say is what are the markets doing to you this morning? Holy cow, the Dow Jones Industrial Average down 460 points. Ow! Yeah, that's a little painful. How about gold or oil off 56 cents per barrel? Should I do it to you, Southern California? Should I tell you this information right now? Because, well, what the heck? We'll, we'll share it with you. You know that you can come here for the straight scoop. National average for a gallon of gasoline today $2.57 and a half cents per gallon. If you want to fill up, you really should be looking at what they're going to pay. Oh, how about Arkansas or Missouri? They're leading the country today, $2.28.9, $228.9. Remember I said California tax are, or, or nationally $2.57.5? Well, right here in Taxifornia, the average gallon of gasoline, $3.43.6. Yeah, we're pushing it on a dollar a gallon more than the national average. Figure that one out. Doesn't that, doesn't that sound exciting? Now, if you are in Orange County, you're actually paying... More than that, $3.48.1. Riverside County, you're at $3.42. And for our friends in San Diego, you're still above the state average. You're at $3.46.5. Interesting information right there. So, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is that we let's keep on voting for the same people that have been doing this to us? You know, Moonbeam, he likes to tax us as much as we can. I don't know why we keep going back to the same well, but you know something, until we decide that we want to change something, there's not a darn thing that's going to change, just the way it is. So right here in California, Taxifornia, I don't know, do you want to keep paying more taxes, more, more money for gasoline? I'm, I'm not part of that. You know, and, I, and again, you, know, you listen to our liberal friends. What, are they, what is their commentary? Well, we're looking out for the working man and woman. And we're going to charge you a dollar a gallon a gas, a dollar a gallon more for gasoline. Now, the working man and woman, are you the one that's out there? Just checking this question. You, you tell me the answer. Are you the one that's out there buying a new Tesla right now, so you don't have to pay that extra dollar a gallon of gasoline? Probably not. And if you're buying the the new Maserati, maybe from our friends over at J Star Motors, you probably 
don't care about that extra dollar a gallon of gasoline. Now, if you're driving the 1970s Pinto, you probably care. If you're dry, driving an old Camry, an old whatever, this is who, you, who the, the state of California is really hitting the hardest. Now, will the lame street media tell you this? No. You know, I watched the news the other day. I was actually listening to a broadcast as I was coming back from the Coachella Valley, and they're just simply talking about what is the average cost of a gallon of gasoline, and they talk about the idea that in Riverside County, $3.42 a gallon. They never mention the idea that it's 85 cents a gallon more than the national average. Now, I don't know about you. I, I did. I have a map in front of me because I'm a simple guy. So I just look at the map that's right in front of me, and I try and figure out what port is in Missouri. Do you know which port gasoline is coming from in Missouri? Do you, when you go down to Torrance, right here in, in Taxifornia, do you ever notice how many refineries are over there? Yeah, there's a lot of refineries there, yet when you ship the gas to Missouri, they pay less money than we do. Figure that one out. Heck, half the time, Hawaii is less than us. I haven't seen it. I've been to Hawaii several times. I have not seen too many refineries in Hawaii. I, maybe I missed them, but I haven't seen too many refineries in Hawaii. They're probably shipping them from California. Their I don't know. We'll see. But they're at $3.51 for a gallon of gasoline. We're at $3.43. Just a thought for you. Uh, moving right along, what else is in the news? Obviously, the big story right now, and we'll get into this in the Mortgage Minute, but Dow Jones down 444 points. What is causing that, and do you care? Now, if you are a senior citizen and you're living off of fixed income, it's probably something that's important to you. If you have done your planning like I've talked to you about in the past, you're keeping a couple of years worth of liquidity so you don't care what the market does from day to day, you probably don't care either. But you might look and say, okay, well, the U.S. 10-year Treasury, it's down today. The yield is down 2.88. Shouldn't the treasuries be going, shouldn't the yield be going up when the market is down 400 points, almost 500 points? Well, you probably just don't figure these things out. Most of us don't watch them. What's happening there? And where do you get this information? Where do you get good information? Well, we're going to talk about that today. Todd Halterman is with us. He helps people preserve their wealth and get these strategies. Unless, you know, now I'm going to share this with you. You're not supposed to do this on radio, but you know that I do a lot of things you're not supposed to do on radio. If you like paying more taxes, you might want to tune out today. If you're in favor of higher prices and higher risk and high volatility, you, you, this may not be the broadcast for you today. Tune back in tomorrow. Now, if you want to cut down on your taxes, you want to minimize the amount that Uncle Sam steals from you, well, then you might get some good information today. Now, can we give you individual information? You know I don't take phone calls, right? So, no, we're not going to give you individual information. We're going to give you a bunch of concepts to deal with today. And then just by chance, Todd kind of feeds his family by helping people individually. So you can call him, schedule an appointment with him, talk to him and his team, and get some of these strategies. But the idea here today, and I like to do this on a regular basis, especially when we're getting into tax time, how do we go and, and minimize the amount? How do we say, okay, the new tax law came into effect. Have we seen a lot of enrolled agents going out of business. I know it's a simple program. I know that everybody's going to be able to send their taxes in on a postcard. I know that, right? It's factual information. I heard it on the TV. And they always give us the straight scoop, right? Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, maybe, maybe they don't give us a day the straight scoop. Look, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. Trust me. Yeah, famous last words, trust me, right? My idea here is the CPAs are not going out of business. The elected officials, congressmen, have you ever noticed how many people in Congress are lawyers? So do you think that they're going to write legislation to cut back on the amount of business that their industry gets? You know, it's all, it's rigged. It's the way the system is. It's rigged against you and me. So what you have to do is try and, and level the playing field. How do you level the playing field? Well, the rich and the famous, what they do is they hire the best people around to go and find the products and programs that make sense and that are legal. 
Why is it that when General Electric was still a viable business, and, and I'm not sure that they're a viable business any longer, but when they were a viable business, making billions of dollars a year, they were paying next to no taxes? Why do you think that is? Do you think it could have been because they hired the best and the brightest to go out and find every legal loophole they possibly could? We hear our liberal friends talking about Donald Trump taking a $900 million or $900,000 write-off, right? Well, why do you think that happens? Because he can hire the people that show him where those loopholes are. Right Now, the next year, he might have paid double that or might have paid it all back. It might have been recaptured. I don't know. He's probably smart enough that it wasn't. How do we level the playing field? Well, you listen to a little broadcast with seven listeners only, and we bring in somebody like Todd Halterman to come and share the information with you so that you can get on that level playing field. And, oh, by the way, it doesn't cost you nearly as much as the president probably paid when he was a businessman in the 90s to get this information. Think about that. That's our mission on Ron Siegel Radio is to get you the best information we possibly can, bring you the best people that we possibly can, and educate you. Do I do that? I don't do this for money, right? I mean, I can't even go to Starbucks based on the amount of money they pay me to do this show, right? I got to go to DK Donuts. Nothing against DK Donuts, Right? But the idea here is we do, kind of bring this information in to help you. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. When we come back, tools and strategies to minimize taxes under the new tax law. Freddie Mac, rising mortgage rates do not lead to falling home prices. Can decades of excellent credit vanish from your credit report? And what did Freddie Mac have to say about mortgage rates this morning? We're going to talk about all that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, it's 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And good morning, Joseph. Glad to see you here. Good morning, Christopher, Lisa, another Christopher, Cindy, Dylan, Jimmy, Dylan. It must be cold out there in Chicagoland. Glad to see you all with us. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you Joe, glad to see you with us this morning, Joe. If the question is no. What are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations. NMLS 21037 and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel radio partners. 
As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert, Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message and as your consumer advocate. I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 one nine nine zero eight hundred three zero six nineteen ninety. The Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends over at Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has the programs, the products for you, and they have the Fast Pass Loan Approval, the only one that I know of in the industry that has the Fast Pass Loan Approval. Save ten to fifty thousand dollars on the purchase of your new home by having that Fast Pass Loan Approval. In the Mortgage Minute, we're looking at the U.S. 10-year Treasury. Holy cow, down 10 basis points on the yield. Now, 2.81, who does that affect? That really does affect our seniors mostly because they're living off of their fixed income. So 2.81 down 10 basis points. Now, remember, I say it every morning because I still get these questions. The Fannie Mae 30-year bond, the bond is up 19 basis points, which means interest rates, the yield is down. So it's a good morning if you're looking to lock in. I did share this with you. Uh, the days all seem to run together for me, but I think it was Tuesday. I told you the only thing that I know of with 100% certainty in the stock market is the stock market always, always overreacts. So when we were looking at the market being down a lot earlier this week in the bonds, they were down a lot. I said to you, on the days that the markets are down a whole lot, do not take action. When the markets are up as far as on the bond yield, on the bond pricing, well, that's when you need to lock in. When those bond prices go up, that's the time to lock in that mortgage rate. Don't lock in when the bonds are going down. And right now, we just jumped above the 25-day moving average. So that's a good indicator for you. What's driving all of this is the, becomes the, the real question is to what is driving this market? How is it all going on? And what do you need to know to really understand it? Well, Housing, price, housing prices are appreciating, so we're still watching that going on. There's still, other than in the ultra-luxury market, and that differs in every community of what the luxury market means, we're starting to see that becoming a buyer's market. Properties are taking a little longer to sell there. We're looking at the initial jobless claims measures, individuals filing for unemployment benefits for the first time. Showed that there were 229,000 claims last week, an increase of 3,000 from the previous report, and was 4,000 higher, worse than expectations. More importantly, this report was for the sample week. Remember the sample week, that's the number that's used for the Bureau of Labor Statistics jobs report, and they're modeling for their estimations. So it could mean another strong jobs report for March, which will be released the first Friday of April. No, that's not an April Fool's joke. Just throwing that in there. And the Freddie Mac Mortgage Market Survey came out this morning. Are you ready for this one? The rates were up. One basis point. I wish I had a yawning sound effect on my board because that's really doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot to anybody. But it is 4.45 was the 30-year fixed rate mortgage paying a half a point. That's the real important, the, the, the average there. Remember data collected Monday through Wednesday, reported on Thursday. Last year we were at 4.23. Marvin, good to see you there. You got to listen to Todd today. And Lisa, yes, I did see your note. Let's talk about you getting on air Thursdays. We deal with seniors mostly. So let's chat about that. That is the Mortgage Minute again, brought to you by Gold Star Mortgage. Let's chat with our friend Todd Halterman, came in from the 
Pacific Northwest. Good morning, Senor. Good morning. Glad to have you with us. So, tips and strategies to save tax money. I, I, I don't, most of the people here don't want to pay too much taxes, otherwise they would have already turned, tuned out on us. Well, you know, taxes are voluntary, but unfortunately it requires effort. So, sometimes people get too busy to focus on it. Taxes are voluntary. Taxes are voluntary. Okay, so last year I did not pay my taxes, and when Uncle Sam comes to visit, I'm going to say, Uncle Todd said they're voluntary. Yeah. Who was that? Was that actor? Was when they're they... legally required, but the amount you pay is voluntary. Oh, okay. Who was that actor uh, that went to jail in Florida? Which one? That <laughs> didn't pay his taxes, and he said, "I heard that's not. It's it's voluntary." Yeah. I don't know. It was one of the. I, I'll, I'll find the name during the it was break. Like Wesley that, Snipes. Was that's, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah Wesley yeah. Snipes. <laughs> so I guess he found out they weren't voluntary, and he must not have called you oh, to get was, the right strategy. He said he made the money overseas, so why would he pay it here? <laughs> I get well, you know something. I guess Uncle Sam didn't agree. Obviously, he and, lost. And he got some new jewelry out of the deal. It was bracelets. Great. It's absolutely accessorized. <laughs> okay, so tell me, give me a couple ideas. What is it that you know that we got this new tax strategy, and they said, okay, nobody's going to need to to hire anybody, and it's going to be this real simplified tax formula. You know, you. you Go and you put on line one how much you made, line two you send it. But what else, What can I do so I don't have to send it? So you don't have to send it? <laughs> well, structuring your family as a family corporation uh, rather than just structuring it as an individual taxpayer is one thing that Californians can look to do to help themselves. Um, do we do it as a, camp, a California corporation or do we the corporation somewhere else? Well, normally we, we recommend places like Delaware, or Wyoming, or New Mexico, uh, even Nevada. Uh, and that's for credit shelter and, and what we call uh, protective covenants um, on okay. the tax regulations. But the reality is, is running your family business as a business is the first key to success, being successful with taxes. Most, Most people don't even think about running their, their household as a business. They don't because they go to work for somebody else and maybe they're signing the back side of their paycheck and you know they work 40, 60, 80 hours and come home. They don't think about having their own corporate tax person. They don't think about having their own corporate legal person, their own advisor, financial officer, their own insurance. We all approach this differently, but every successful business owner I know has a team of advocates around them to help formulate a strategy and talk to each other. But still, wait, wait, you got to go back here because I'm a simple guy, Todd. Every successful business owner does that, but I, I you know, I'm just me incorporated. Yeah, and as a self-employed person, you're still a business. Okay, so Do I have to be self-employed. Well, not necessarily. Okay. But are you? Well, no. I'm, I'm, uh, I've got this license that the, uh, the, the CFPB says, you know, i got to be a W-2 employee or else I can't do an FHA loan or something. That's correct. So at home, you earn your primary wage from W-2 activity. Right. So it doesn't mean that you are held ho hostage to that employer. It means that you're able to run a business as a family outside of that employment situation. So my first line of defense for taxes is talking about how you live your life what things you do in your daily life, what are your interests, and, and are you running your business as a family corporate structure? And I say that as a word, not as a structure itself, but people go home, they don't think about how they live and how those tax ramifications add up because they're not running it as a business. Do they have those advisors around them? Are they re meeting regularly, having boards of uh, agendas uh, with their family? Can I have a board meeting in Hawaii? Quarterly. 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 Wow, and and then I can that, and that's a business expense. It is a business expense if you make it one, but you need to have a formal agenda. And why are you going there to do it? So the reality is there are things that you can do that are quite compliant with the IRS. But if we just go to work and come home and and, and work our job, the job is not your friend for taxes. But you need to understand how taxes work and how you can be what I would call a corporate officer at home, not just an employee at work. I'm an employee at home. My wife tells me what to do there too. Yeah, I, I see how that works out. <laughs> okay, so here's the idea then. I, you know, I've talked to some real estate professionals and I think it probably works in almost every arena. Right, so in, in just in the real estate world, almost every realtor, the, every successful realtor I know, they, they do some sort of marketing. Right. Could their spouse or child or themselves set up a marketing company that they do all their marketing through? Well, and, you, and depending on the situation, in this scenario, it's easy for somebody that has children or has family to be able to set up an LLC, an S Corp or a C Corp. I prefer C Corps because the first $50,000 of income to a C Corp is 0% tax. I like 0% tax. 0% tax is good. So. What a key to what we I'll pay all of it for you for you for that well, zero. Again, it's voluntary. Right? <laughs> right? You're just a giver, Ron. I'm a giver. 
So if the first 50000 in that corporation is tax-free, that means as a service business, if you have family corporate employees, so let's say the wife is a real estate professional, the husband may work um, outside of the home at a W-2 job, but when he's home, he's helping label water bottles or he's helping prepare for open houses or cooking dinner waiting for her to get home. So the point is, how can we work together as a family corporation and have deductions, but outside of your W-2 wage? So we simply make the husband an employee of that corporation of that marketing company and the children as long as they're applicable ages and, and can can work can be listed as family employees as well now if you're a family corporation that also means you can set up employee benefits for your corporation that means you can have well, we're going to talk more about employee I like benefits so we're going to talk more about benefits when we come back you're listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets benefits to me almost sounds like it might be a write-off I don't know we'll talk to Todd Halterman about that when we come back, Freddie Mac says that rising mortgage rates do not lead to falling home prices, all that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Radio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. lending team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home. You're missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message and is your consumer advocate. 
I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The real-time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio Text Toolkit. Toolkit to 79564. Get the ultimate home finance toolkit. It has in there the mortgage calculators, the home affordability worksheets, and how do you get real time accurate interest rates? It's all in the toolkit. Freddie Mac, they came out with this report rising mortgage rates do not lead to falling home prices. It was in their Insight report titled Nowhere to Go But Up. How increasing mortgage rates could affect housing. The report focused on the impact the projected rise in mortgage rates might have on the housing market this year. Many believe that an increase in mortgage rates will cause a slowdown in purchases, which would in turn lead to a fall in house values. Ultimately, however, prices are determined by supply and demand. And while rising mortgage rates may slow demand, they also affect supply. From the report, and I quote, for current homeowners, the decision to buy a new home is typically linked to their decision to sell their current home. Because of this, the financing costs of the existing mortgage are part of the homeowner's decision of whether and when to move. Once financing costs for a new mortgage rise above the rate borrowers are paying for their current mortgage, borrowers would have to give up below market financing to sell their home. Instead, they may choose to delay both the sale of their existing home and the purchase of a new home to maintain the advantageous financing, unquote. Freddie Mac report in acknowledging this situation concluded that prices are not adversely impacted by higher mortgage rates and they explained quote while there is a drop in the demand for homes there is an associated drop in the supply of homes from the link between the selling and buying decisions as both supply and demand move together in this way they have offsetting effects on price lower demand increases price lower supply increases price and I've shared with you the reports many many times that show what the impact on home prices has been the last six times mortgage rates have increased more than one percent most recently if you look at the time period oh between uh, let's say 2003 2004 where interest rates up 1.06 percent property values up 13 percent between june of 2006 july of 2006 up 1.1 uh, uh two yeah up 1.18 percent Property values up 7%. Think about some of these numbers. A lot of increase. That's the real-time real estate segment, again, brought to you by the area-trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio. So we've been chatting this morning with Todd Halterman. We're talking about how do you minimize your taxes. And Todd, you're talking about some benefit plans, your defined benefit plans. Well, what you want, people at home, if you're in the real estate business or you're in business in general, or maybe you're a W-2 employee, first thing you have to do is remember that you're really running a family business at home. It doesn't mean that you just have a job. Most successful business owners surround themselves with advisors that are experts in certain areas and they meet with them quarterly to make sure they understand their focus and their scope and sequence. And that's why we have the household board of directors at Ron Siegel Radio. Absolutely. But the reason that's important is that a team is going to see things more accurately than an individual. Sure. So you have to trust somebody sooner or later. You might as well assemble that team when things aren't going poorly. Most people don't assemble the team until something happens. So the first line of defense for tax mitigation is have trusted advisors around you that you meet with quarterly and you really talk about how to run your family business or your family life. But we get busy during the week, Ron. So that doesn't right. always happen. So how can you get advice from somebody if they're not plugged in and involved in your life? Listen to Ron Siegel Radio. You can get plugged into that ad. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So today, talking about structure, if you have family and you have business or you have W-2, there's something to be said if you have real estate or rentals or any type of income coming into your house, don't keep that in a sole proprietorship. Let's make sure that we set you up in some kind of family structure where the spouse can be a, a managing partner. Okay, so I'm a, I'm a simple guy here, Todd. we got to make this real simple for people like me. You bet. Okay, so if I've got this real rental real estate, right. And I'm going to manage it myself. I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm cheap, so I, I didn't hire a property manager for the six or seven or eight percent or whatever they charge for it. I don't even know what they charge for it. But I can set up a company to be the management company, and, I, and I'm the management company, I'm the employee. You can, you, can re, you can figure out if you need an LLC, an S Corp, or a C Corp. And you can have open up a management company for very low expense that allows 
your partner, your spouse, to be able to manage that marketing or that service or management organization, and you can bill for that out of the proceeds of the rent. That also makes that family employee an employee of the company. And as an employee of the company, you have the right to set up benefit plans, which could be employee benefits, which could be 401k, it can be defined benefit plan, it could be tuition reimbursement. You see, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up here, Todd. We go. Got to slow down again. I'm simple. So I've got this property, and two of my three sons drive. So I could actually have them drive by, do a drive-by inspection of my property, and pay them for it. And you said something about tuition reimbursement. That's correct. So what's interesting is that as tax laws have changed, it's made it more difficult for us to deduct expenses like college expense. Sure. And there's other things as you make higher income that you're not able to do, like contributing to a Roth. So we need to make sure that you know the laws. And yes, if your kids are of, of age and they have a job description and they have a role within your family company, you can define them as an employee. That employee status allows them to be eligible for 401k. That allows them to be eligible for any kind of benefits that you put on the table, including tuition reimbursement. So a lot of my higher income earners that are in real estate or insurance or even working for somebody else as a W-2, as long as you have the capability of saying these kids fill a role in our family corporation outside of my W-2 job, you literally can set up programs to help you make your life deductible in a way that's compliant with the IRS. But you know, it seems some of the sometimes Todd, you know, the old story. It, it sounds too good to be true. It has is it is it too good to be true, or is it just that the IRS doesn't want to advertise these things because they don't want they don't want me to know about it? Well, there's two things that go on. First of all, you must be compliant with the law, and okay. not, not be in the gray area. So it really depends on the lifestyle you live. But if you don't have your board of advisors or somebody that's thinking creatively and proactively for you, you're going to keep doing the same things you've always done. And most Americans overpay their taxes. So you think you go to a tax preparer, and those tax preparers are designed to take the zeros out of your statements and put them on the return and send them in. See, we work with tax managers. We work with proactive tax mitigating, get mitigation specialists that say, in our advisory world, we want to make sure that you're understanding how to set up your family as a company, not just an employee-employer situation. So at what income level do I need to start looking at these these type of strategies? But you're over about 125000 We find that you're able to start benefiting from the tax uh, maneuvering, the tax situation. But the reality is, if you're a dual income household, and you're pulling in more than 125,000, the chances are there are some things you're missing because you're not being proactive in how you structure your life at home. It's not that you're not being efficient with your tax return, but the way you structure your life. So I did my taxes all properly, it's just that the structure getting to that point was where I blew it. Correct. So sitting down and having an advisory board that says, how do we build your life at home like your employer builds their life at work? And how do we help you build your life together with a life plan? Not just a tax plan, but, but Ron, there's six pillars to financial empowerment. There's not just one. So first thing you do is plan your life, and then you plan your income, then you plan your taxes, and then you plan your legal, and then you plan risk management. And of course, last but not least is investments. But we, I'm going to tell you right now, most people are paying an average marginal rate of 25%. Right now, people are fighting to hope they average 8% in the market. Well, if taxes are 25 and the market's 8, where you might find quicker profits for your family is making sure you're not overpaying on your taxes. Well, that's fascinating that you bring that up because we, we heard over and over again that Warren Buffett told us that you know his secretary pays more than he does. And I think they said that he's like in the 18% marginal bracket. And I, I think, I mean, I haven't looked at his tax return, but I think he makes more than I do. Well, my, my. <laughs> so the reality is, how are you structuring your life, and how are you structuring your finances, and it's more than just a tax return. So one of the things that I, I um, evangelize on the show all the time is that tax time, you only do tax reporting in March and April. Tax planning is done the rest of the year. Correct. 
So you got to. Wh- when do I need to start sitting down with you to talk to you about things like this? Well, the first thing I do is as soon as I have my return done, I do an autopsy on it with my clients, and we sit down and say, where, where did it go? What did you do? And how did you do it? Um, what do you wish we'd have done differently? And that autopsy helps us set our meetings for the rest of the year. So it just depends on again what your life looked like, how are you living, where's your income come from, what things are you doing outside of work that may be considered a business or a, an advocacy business or some kind of activity, volunteer work. If you're a if you're a, a, a constant volunteer and you're going out and spending time and money helping organizations, there's deductibility there for you to track those expenses. Fascinating. So if I'm a, let's, we'll bring this back a little bit to real estate here. So if I'd like to invest in real estate, and you know, obviously we're going to talk in the next segment about 1031 exchanges and, and some of the methods of dealing with this. And if you're getting a little bit older, we'll also chat a little bit there about how do I get rid of all the work involved in real estate. And I think I heard something about T's or something. So we might even talk about T's. Not teasing you, but tease there. The four T's. The four T's. So we'll talk about that in the next segment also. But you know, if I like doing real estate, if I if my wife and I want to, you know, I'm I'm, in, I'm investing in California real estate, and I want to see how they're doing things in Montana. Sure. Can I make a business trip to Montana to kind of judge that market and see what I might be able to learn and bring back to California? Well, we, we call those formally due diligence trips. Okay. And if you don't go see, smell, and touch the property, you're just looking at it virtually, you're doing yourself a disservice. It's hard for you to gauge employment, quality of life, culture of the community. Is it growing? Is it shrinking? You can look at numbers all day long, but until you meet the people and you see the situation, you don't know what you're getting into. So yes, those are all opportunities for people that want to be in the real estate business or are to treat their family life like a corporate structure and go out and do their homework, but be able to support their lifestyle behind it. And again, all the things that we're talking about, all the things that Todd's sharing, I wouldn't have brought Todd on the broadcast, if all the things that we're sharing are not going through legal channels, we're not looking to do anything that is outside the law, we want to make sure that everything stays compliant, and as I shared at the top of the broadcast, we're not giving individual advice here because that would not be compliant. You got to call Todd to get that information. Give me a call at 800-306-1990. I'll put you in touch with Todd Halterman. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, can decades of excellent credit vanish from your credit report? We'll talk about that and more. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, it's 800 800- 306-1990-800-306-1990 or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. On Twitter, at Ron Siegel. And if you miss any part of our broadcast, shame on you. <laughs> but the replay is available. Ron Siegel 1. Ron Siegel, the numeral 1 on YouTube. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Our house in the middle of our street. Our house in the middle of Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey, so businesses can win more customers. Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lending team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E 
A-G-E-L LendingTeam.com or 1-800-306-1990. Rates subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 217037 and 145502 and CalBRE 01869452 and one eight six six seven. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. The Your Credit Matters segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has these solutions for you. I've told you this before. I've been looking at credit reports since the 80s. I have never, ever seen a credit report that is completely accurate. Never. And I've shared this part as well. Had a 93-year-old client, very, very high net worth individual, credit score 834, 850 is perfect. And I still saw seven errors on his report. What makes you think yours is right? Creditsanitizer.com. The question this morning, can decades of excellent credit disappear from my credit report? And this came in from a listener, asked us this question. I had great credit for 40 years. Then I stopped using credit 10 years ago. Now there's nothing on my reports. He says his report score is zero. Paid everything off. Paid all of his debts off and only uses cash. After 10 years, sorry to say, yes, your credit report can drop significantly because the credit report's goal is to identify, based on past history, what does it look like for the next 90 days? Are you going to pay your, your bills on time? If there's no credit history, how can the algorithms figure that out? They can't. That's why I tell you, keep your credit cards active, use them, and remember, if you want to maximize your credit score, you must pay your bill before the statement closing date, not before the statement due date. Big difference there. You'll find a massive change in your credit score, especially if you use your cards a lot. That is the Your Credit Matters segment, again, brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. We are chatting this morning. Todd Halterman's in the house, giving us some great tips. There's going to be a lot of people, oh, in the next three weeks or so, that are going to be complaining significantly. And their big complaint is they did their taxes, they owe Uncle Sam a boatload of money, and now is the time to pay the bill. Remember... You might be able to get that extension on filing your report. The extension is not on paying the bill. They want their money. So there's just a, there are some strategies there as well, but how about if we plan ahead? What if we plan properly? Todd Halterman has been sharing some great information. We're not going to recap all the things we spoke about earlier. You can catch that Ron Siegel one on YouTube and you'll be able to get that information, but we're going to continue moving right along. How about that 70-year-old individual that just decided they've got a, you know, several pieces of rental property, maybe they've got some industrial properties, and they're starting to liquidate those. You know, at 70, you've probably got only about 30, 35 years left on this planet. 
So, Todd, do we have some strategies that we can help people out there? You know, it's common that people come out of the woodwork and say, you know, at some point we don't want to deal with the four T's. Four T's? Yeah, the toilet. My the Four trash. T's of my size is like 4X, right? I mean, <laughs> what are you, what are you yeah, talking about? That's, that's a sleep shirt, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> are you awake? <laughs> four T's, man. Yeah, what the well, heck are you well, talking about? My good about? friend Ron Burkhart from Santa Ana says the four T's is toilets... Ooh, fun stuff. We always love that. Go ahead. Okay. Toilets, trash, tenants, and taxes. So when you're managing your own property... I'll we'll have to ask Ron if you got those right, man. <laughs> yeah. Let's call quality assurance that. Okay. So when you get a certain stage in life and you're trying to plan your life and your finances, maybe you don't want to deal with those four T's on a daily basis. Maybe you want it a little simpler. We have proactive programs that allow people to do 1031 exchanges, which allows them to take the real estate they own and actively manage and convert it into a passive strategy where they're the landlord of Walgreens or they're a landlord of a Walmart distribution center or they're, they're the landlord of a, a cornerstone. Let's stick with Amazon because they're a company that seems like they're going to be around a little longer. Amazon's dominating. Am <laughs> and Amazon loves to rent property. They do not want to be in the real estate business. Walmart does not want to be in the real estate business. The only one I know of that does want to be in the real estate business is Sears and they're dying in the retail business. We've seen what that happens. <laughs> so the cost of managing and maintaining real estate for these large corporations ties up a lot of capital for them and they don't get the write-offs by owning the building like they do if they lease. So they want out of the real estate business. So private investors that have a, built up a lot of, uh, of uh, what I'll call capital gains in their real estate don't want to just sell and pay those taxes all at once what they should do is look at a 1031 so they don't have to deal with the four t's the toilets the trash the tenants and the taxes and be able to go more passive and having revenue coming in from their rent but they're not managing it and their cornerstone tenant is high quality high credit long-term renters and we help people do that all the time it's simpler than selling it's better for you than, than actually going out and deploying it in the bond market right now and your assets still backed by real estate and the rental income coming in accordingly. And I get to legally avoid the taxes? We defer your taxes. Defer the taxes, okay. Yes. Got to make sure we use the right terminology. We defer the taxes until we decide to inherit the asset to somebody else. And of course, if you're married, when the first spouse passes away, you get a step up in basis, which means that whatever the date of death is, the value of that property actually accretes up to that in basis, so that helps wipe out your capital gain. So some families will go ahead and sell after that, but a lot of them just maintain it and keep cash on their rent checks to keep coming in the mail but you're not dealing with the four T's. So you don't have to be, you don't have to be active managing, but now how does that take us back to the first step where we were talking earlier about the corporate structure, don't, does that affect that in any way? No, it doesn't affect it in any way, but if you're going more passive as an owner and not active, then you must have other activities in business to be able to legally and morally write off the taxes that you're trying to, you know, your cost deductions. So again, your life structure, your business structure may change at that point from an actively managed company to a consulting role. Maybe you're out consulting in the real estate world. Maybe you have to go visit the shareholders. You do. And, right? and that could just happens to be my kids. Well, and don't forget your due diligence trips. You need to see, smell, and touch the assets that you own. You need to make sure that you're in the market and the economy. So we have, I have several clients who do like to travel and, and do have real estate holdings. So we build a portfolio for them that's more passive than active. So the older they get, the more simple it is for them to collect their rent and then allows them to travel to see their life and their, their properties and then look for other opportunities while they're out there. Great information. Now, I want to I transition a little bit, Todd, because I know that uh, just in our conversations leading up to the broadcast, you've got another passion, a little bit of a passion uh, that, that keeps you motivated as well as helping people minimize their taxes. Yes. Let's chat a little bit about uh, the warrior. You're a warrior. I'm a warrior. So Welcome Warriors Home is a program that's designed to welcome the newest veterans home and help unite veteran organizations and communities. And here's the reality. If you pay taxes, I said it's voluntary earlier. The largest asset most people own today is their 401k or IRA, besides their home. And it used to be that families own family farms, so they passed land from one generation to the other, or they skipped that generation and handed it one, one, one past. But the IRA is all taxable when somebody passes away, unless you use strategies to mitigate that. So Ron, 
let's fast forward 25, 30, 40 years, you're not here anymore, Mindy has to decide what she's going to be doing. When she passes, the kids have to decide. But there are three places that you're legally required to leave your money when you die. You have to pick two. So out of these three places, one's loved ones, one's charity, and one's the IRS. So Ron, you have to legally pick two out of the three. Would you please tell me which one you would not pick? I would not pick the IRS. I want to minimize that part. So without a proper financial plan, a legacy plan, planning will make you more money than picking stocks. Then you will not disinherit the IRS. And let me give you an example. You have $100,000 in an IRA. You have two kids. You love them the same. They both get 50000 but what do they really get, Ron? Because they make income too. They're going to pay twenty thousand of that fifty to taxes. They're going to keep thirty. Well, if each child sends twenty thousand to the IRS, how much did the IRS get? Forty thousand. They inherit more. I'm pretty quick, aren't I? I love that. <laughs> So what we've got is we've got a situation, a family that, that doesn't understand all the rules because they don't have their board of advisors, they don't meet regularly as a corporate structure, and they're not trying to figure out creative ways to make sure the IRS doesn't inherit more than their kids. And there's ways to mitigate that, but you have to pick two out of the three. I pick charity and loved ones always. Sure. So how do you want to be remembered? Do you want to be remembered as somebody that didn't take care of it? Or you the best gift you ever give your kids is the one that says we'd help disinherit the IRS as much as we could? Makes sense to me. And, and, and this organization, for those of you watching us on ronsegalradio.tv, got that right there. Welcome Warriors Home. There's a lot of them that need a lot of our support. They, you know, if it wasn't for them, we couldn't be on here. I mean, can you imagine the opening the monologue of my broadcast every morning if I tried to do that in China? If I tried to do that in Russia, you know, you can't get away with that. It's because of those brave men and women that are out there providing us the security and the safety and our freedoms. We've got to make sure we remember all of them as they come home. And that's, uh, give me a call at 800-306-1990 if you want to get involved in that mission with us as well. And be sure to set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A big thanks to John, who's engineering us today. And of course, a special thanks to you for spending a little bit of your day with us. That's all for Ron Siegel Radio. Again, if you have any questions or to meet any of our guests, call me anytime, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. And remember, make a lot of money so you can help a lot of people and have a lot of fun. Have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio. 